uh, hey, we're the last speaker, and she does not want you to be a poser. She would like you to get real. And that individual is Heather Meza from Cisco. Let's welcome her up to the stage and have her wrap this thing up. Heather. walks into a bar. <laughs> and he says to the bartender, I'm seeking a cost-optimized, fruity beverage of the um, unique nature to smooth, soothe, soothe my soul. And the bartender says, what? <laughs> because people don't talk like that, right? Do you talk like that? Do you work with people that talk like that? And yet, if you look at the content that we create in a business environment, and even in some of the consumer environments, we're filling the space with bullshit, quite honestly, right? All these words that are just like draining your soul. They're the complete opposite of engaging. So, you know, when you think about the content that you're writing, one of the things that I'd like you to think about when you think about content marketing or marketing in general, Think about what it is that you're really doing. Are you in B2B? Are you in B2C? Are you uh, some other kind of acronym? Or are you in the P2P space, people to people? Because we're all human beings, and we all genuinely crave the same type of things. Think about the brands that you connect with. Think about the speakers that you connected with at this conference. Which were the ones that were your favorites? Were it, was it the people that you know were more real? I think for me it was, right? That showed some form of humanity, talked a little bit about themselves, what they did, or had children, or some other kind of you know storytelling. That's the kind of thing that we need to bring to what we do in everything we do. And it starts with the only thing you have control over. You. It starts with you being real. Throw away the work persona, is my call to action uh, for, for the decade. Start being who you really are, wherever you are, whenever you are, with whomever you're engaging with. If you start behaving in this way yourself, you'll start to see a shift happening. I know that I personally, uh, obviously, this is, I mean, what you see is what you get, folks. <laughs> um, and it is the most liberating and exciting thing to not have to worry about putting on some uniform, putting on some suit, you know, practicing my jargon so that I can sound smart, and instead just going out and connecting with people. It's fun. Connecting with people is fun. Your content that you create should be fun. It should be fun to actually create it with the people you work with, and it should be fun for the people who are encountering it. We're all human beings. We crave things. You know, how many of you went to the Rick Springfield concert last night? No? Right? Oh, I gotta tell you, I had a very personal experience at that concert. I had a blast. You know, the 12 year old girl inside of me was just like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm gonna see Rick Springfield. And so I was right up on that stage. And I was really enjoying it and really engaging and, and I just, you know, thought he, he and the man who did a fabulous job. But at one point during the conference, or the, the concert rather, Rick Springfield was singing a song about um, human touch, um, which I have to admit, I, I never heard the song before. <laughs> um, but uh, it was really cool and I'm listening and I'm like, ah, oh, you know, and he reached down and he grabbed my nose. <laughs> and smiled and went. <laughs> I mean, I was just like, oh my God, Rick people just touched me. Is that a little sweat? Is that a little sweat? <laughs> Again, I was 12, instantly 12. But I have to tell you, I, you know, knowing that I was going to come up here and speak with you guys today about this topic, I realized, I was like, I can't get it out of my head. And I mean, I'm, you know, it have been Simon Le Bon or Dave Bon, I mean, I would understand. But you know, I wasn't like, I was a Durani, not a Springfieldery. 
<laughs> and so I'm like, why can I not get this out of my head? And it's because he literally engaged with me in a real, genuine, it wasn't, I mean, rock stars don't do this to 40 year old women. I mean, what the hell was that? <laughs> You know, I've got this great story, I've got this great memory, I've got, you know, this cool feeling inside of me because I had that human interaction with a real person and it was memorable and it was funny and it was interesting and it's all the things that all these great speakers have been talking to you guys about when you think about creating your content. And what I'd like to ask you all to do is to be courageous, be bold, be brave, Start with the thing you can control, which is yourself. Start being a real person all the time, no matter what. Kill that fake Facebook persona, come on. Have one. And just be you out there in the world, and you will inspire others, I guarantee it. And you will be able to inspire the people you work with, the company you work for. Start being human so that they can also engage with their audience because humans engage. B to B's, B to C's, bullshitty jargon and crap doesn't engage. You just, you just cannot connect with that. It's not real. So please, all of you, go out there, be courageous, be bold, keep up the good fight around content marketing. It's not a bubble, it's not a phase, and it is pretty damn cool. Thank you so much. How many people did Rick Springfield actually talk?